Hello guys, welcome to another video and guys in today's video I want to be really discussing about the essential amino acids and also the conditioning essential amino acids. So the essential amino acids are essentially those amino acids that cannot be produced by our body. So the first one I want to talk about is how you remember this list because it's a, it's a bunch of amino acids who you, which you can barely remember. So remember the top of the list will be the one starting with T. So tryptophan and then tyranine. So I need that the thyronine, and then the fifth one, I will, I will just put the middle one. So put uh, methuronine. So yeah, that's the middle one. Okay, and now I'll, I'll, uh, the seventh one is it starts seventh starts with S. Sorry, yeah, the seventh it kind of looks like upside down L, so it can be the longest. So the longest one would be of course phenyl. Lalanine, not of course structure name wise, and uh, at the bottom you put the losers, right? So you just put lysine. Um, leucine leucine and now when you stop in, when you step into leucine you have to put in the uh, branching amino acids put isoleucine and then once you put isoleucine then you can put the uh, valine over here because these are the three branch chain amino acids now once we have that now we just fill in the gap for two more things so what would those two more things be um so guys the ones the ones that would be here these are the ones that are heavy in n because we have M or M twenty, then you look at arginine, and then we have the um, methionine, arginine, and then the hista, histadine. So yeah. So let me let's just quickly write, 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 the top two are gonna be tryptophan, tyrosine. Um, then we're gonna have the um, at the bottom we're gonna have the lysine, and then we're gonna have leucine. But then from leucine we remember up branch chain amino acids, so isoleucine and valine. The middle we have methionine and we have phenylalanine for the seventh ones because it's the longest. And we have to and now we had methionine in the middle, so anything N that will be histidine, and then we have arginine. And now I want to talk about the conditionally uh, essential uh, amino acids. Um, and then I'll talk about the non-essential amino acids uh talk a bit more uh, what is a uh, no, essential cannot be produced by our body we need them from dietary intake uh, non-essential we we can produce them um inside our body easily no problem oh and then we have conditioning essentially amino acids these conditioning essential amino acids are essentially those amino acids that are going to be produced during the pathological pathophysiological uh, can be uh synthesis can be limited uh sin uh this is can um, can be limited uh, during the pathophysiological stress. Um, so, for example, when you're uh, when you're sick or uh, or uh, under significant stress, your body cannot produce enough amino acids, and to meet so. Um, so, uh, media such as this, these amino acids, these, they're gonna be six over here. So, sick, sick equals six, kind of in a way. So, that'll trigger your memory over there. Oh, uh, what, what are those one? Okay, so the first one is gonna be, uh, sorry, cysteine. Then it's gonna be, uh, glycine. Then it's gonna be the, uh, proline. Serine. And the uh, ornithine uh, and tyrosine. We can refer to this tyrosine. If you know this list, you can find phenylalanine when it's hydroxylated. I believe it's tyrosine. Ornithine it comes from our urea. And uh, serine, proline, um, cysteine, and uh, glycine are all very small amino acids. So the, you put the small one first. We'll put our urea then. And after our urea, we'll put our. Uh, we'll extract this from our list. Now essential amino acids. You can guess it. Uh, we can produce them in the body. What's the one? Alanine. It's produced from the pyruvate. Two is going to be the, uh, uh, guys, this list is going to contain all of our A's. Because this is maybe the smallest list A's. And the students who get A's are the ones, are very small number of students who get A's. So we'll put aspar, uh, parganine, asparate, and then glutamate. Again, very important over here. Serine, I believe so again. Uh, surprisingly, and uh, serine can be put over here. Um, well, kind of, that's about it. Please, if you guys do enjoy this video, please do leave a like, and I hope to see you guys next time.